Well, again, everybody, it's Plowboy Plowboy's Ghost Channel. I'm going to take a moment to touch on something that's uh, pretty important. You know, with everything going on, it seems so serious, politics-wise, gun rights-wise. And, and you know, a few videos ago, I mentioned that I thought things were going to come down to a fight. I'll tell you something that's pretty important. If you think things are going to get that bad, and that's the choice of the right hat. I don't know if I've chose the right hat for me personally for how I look. Y'all, I've wanted this pale rider pattern hat for a long time. And uh, who wants to meet the apocalypse in a hat that really doesn't suit you? Not me. Not me. So anyway, step up here and show y'all what I got. Like I said, it's supposed to be a pale rider uh, style, the pattern. It's from Miller Hat Company out of, uh, I think, Houston, Texas. It's beaver felt. It's lined. Normally, this hat would come with a uh, with a leather hat band around it. Well, I asked them specifically specifically to leave the uh, leather off and give me a gros grain band because y'all, this I'm right now. I'm I'm more into uh, 1860s guns and Confederate reenacting stuff and military stuff and the gun. You know everything that I've got is in that pattern and that time frame so when i ordered this hat i wasn't thinking as much about pale rider as i was about the fact that i've seen a uh, sketch done from a man who was I, as far as i can tell he was at the battle of first manassas yankees call it bull run but it's manassas to us southerners and there's this uh, sketch that he did of um, of stonewall jackson general jackson and there's a man in general jackson's uh well, standing right behind him, is actually wearing this pattern of hat with this flared crown. So, this pattern of hat, of course, he didn't have as much lift to it on the sides here as with this. It was more flat around it, but that's easy to fix if I ever wanted to do that. So, this this hat is period correct. This pattern hat is period correct with this telescope, not telescoping crown, but flared crown. Now, the lining, the markings in the lining would be a little off, but that could be fixed, but the only difference between this being a, to me, a strictly movie hat, pale rider hat, and the possibility of using it for Confederate reenacting would be the the leather band that was on it originally before I had them changed it. Y'all, I give, I ordered this hat on a Monday, and I had it by a Friday, and gave them my measurements, told them what I wanted, did the hat band, no extra charge, changing it out, and making it that way. And I can't argue with it. I give, uh, I think this hat, shipping and all, was $250. Now, to me, that's a lot of money. I've never give $250 for a hat, never give $200 for a hat, never give maybe more than $100 for a hat. But y'all, I've wanted this in a long time. Of course, you know I like Clint Eastwood. Uh, I like Pale Rider. That's one of my favorite movies. And uh, I can't wait till long coat, frock coat, duster weather. This hat's pretty warm in the summertime, and it's still, I don't know about where y'all at, but it's still hot here in Alabama. But anyway, and all of your preparations for, uh, for whatever you might, in your opinion, what you might see coming down the road for gun owners, for freedom lovers, for anybody that's to the right of Mao Zedong or uh, Lenin, one of the things to keep in mind is the choice of the right hat for the apocalypse. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I need to do a hat video on all of them that I got, because I get people question, you know, asking me where I got this or where I got that. Most of them is just cheap old Walmart hats. But Some people like to know about that stuff. Well, I appreciate uh, y'all watching, hitting like, subscribe, tolerating me. And I'll talk to y'all again soon. Thanks.